Namaste Sadhguru. Uh, my name is Deepesh. I'm coming from Kerala. Uh, I have been reading books, almost 100 books about spirituality. I, I like talking spirituality. I like uh, philosophizing about spirituality, about Buddhism, Anapanasati, everything. But when coming to practice, I postpone it. How to avoid laziness? So you cannot think about it, you cannot talk about it because whatever you think and talk about is not spirituality. It's not even good literature, really believe me, <laughs> there's better literature in the world than spiritual books. <laughs> if hundred books that you read did not create enough thirst in you to do something about it, there is nothing spiritual about these books. If it created a longing within you that you couldn't help doing something about it, then that book is okay. Even that book is not spiritual, at least it's inspirational. It inspired you enough to take a step and a million words that you read are of no consequence. If you take one little step, it's worth all the scriptures on the planet. So, before it's too late, take at least one small step. Now that you are here, at least start one, twelve minute Isha Kriya. And uh, I have specially designed this for people like you, it has got words in the meditation. because <laughs> those who live on words, those who feed upon words, without words they cannot live, you know. There are enough beautiful things in this planet and in this existence. If you paid enough attention, you would become wordless. But a whole lot of people thrive on words because they have never paid enough attention to anything. So if you pay enough attention, you will become wordless. For days on end, as a growing boy, I never said a word because what's there to say? You can't drink in the world around you, it's too much. These two eyes and these five senses are not enough to grasp. It hardly gives you any sense. So when you don't pay attention to life, you will get hugely enamored by words. And I'm sure you said Buddhism and also you're repeating what Gautama said or whatever they printed in his name. <laughs> yes, because if I speak something today, by tomorrow morning it becomes hundred different versions. If Gautama spoke, poor man, twenty-five hundred years ago, what all they should have said? in his name. They have said too many things which are not his words. And that is why it becomes an ism. <laughs> it has become an ism means, that means it has nothing to do with the Buddha. Buddhism means all the people around created a whole lot of things. Buddha is a different thing, Buddhism is another thing, <laughs> so with everything else. So, don't feed on those isms, just start one simple process with words just for you. <laughs> Please do it, 